On November 18th, 2024, students across the United States opened Quizlet only to be met with error messages. The platform, which many had come to rely on for their daily study sessions, was suddenly inaccessible. The popular online study platform was experiencing a major outage, leaving countless students in a state of confusion and frustration. Users were unable to log in or access their study materials, which included crucial notes, flashcards, and practice quizzes. Reports quickly flooded social media, confirming that the problem was widespread. Hashtags like hash down and hash study crisis began trending as students shared their experiences and sought solutions. For millions of students, Quizlet is an essential part of their learning routine. It's not just a tool, it's a lifeline for many who depend on it to keep up with their coursework. They rely on its flashcards, quizzes and other tools to study for tests and learn new material. The platform's user-friendly interface and extensive database make it a go-to resource for students of all ages. The outage threw a wrench into their study plans, causing significant disruption and anxiety. Many students found themselves scrambling to find alternative study methods at the last minute. The timing of the outage couldn't have been worse. It occurred right in the middle of a critical study period. It hit right as many students were gearing up for midterms and end-of-semester exams. These exams often determine a significant portion of their final grades. With deadlines looming, the inability to access their Quizlet sets added extra stress to an already pressure-filled time. Students were left feeling helpless and anxious about their upcoming tests. The Quizlet outage is a stark reminder of our growing dependence on online tools for education. As we integrate more technology into our learning processes, the risks associated with technical failures become more pronounced. When these platforms go down, it can have a real and immediate impact on students' ability to learn and succeed. The outage highlighted the need for reliable backup plans and the importance of diversifying study resources. As the outage stretched on, frustration among students grew. The longer it lasted, the more anxious and stressed they became, realizing their study schedules were being disrupted. Many took to Twitter and other platforms to vent their frustrations and seek updates from Quizlet. Social media became a hub of activity with students sharing their grievances and looking for any news on when the service might be restored. The hashtag hash Quizlet down began trending as users shared their experiences and commiserated with one another. It was a digital gathering of sorts where students from different parts of the world connected over a shared inconvenience. The outage exposed just how deeply integrated Quizlet has become in many students' study habits. For many, it wasn't just an app. It was a crucial part of their daily academic routine. For some, it wasn't just a handy tool. It was their primary method of studying. They had built their entire study plans around the features and resources that Quizlet offered. They relied on its space repetition algorithms and personalized learning plans. These features helped them retain information more effectively and manage their study time efficiently. The outage forced students to scramble for alternative ways to study. They had to quickly adapt and find other resources to keep up with their coursework. Some dusted off their old textbooks and notes. These traditional methods, though less convenient, became their go-to resources in the absence of Kislay. Others turned to classmates for help. Group study sessions and peer support became more important than ever as students sought to fill the gap left by the outage. The situation highlighted the need for students to have backup plans and not rely solely on digital tools. It was a wake-up call about the importance of having diverse study resources. The incident underscored the importance of digital literacy, and adaptability for students. Being proficient with various study methods and tools is crucial in today's tech-driven educational landscape. In an increasingly digital world, being able to adjust to technical glitches and find alternative solutions is becoming an essential skill. This experience taught students the value of resilience and flexibility in their academic pursuits. As the outage continued, Quizlet remained tight-lipped about the cause. Initial reports pointed to upstream request timeout errors, suggesting a server-side issue. 
However, the company did not confirm these reports or provide any details about the nature of the problem. The lack of communication from Quizlay only fueled speculation and frustration. Students were left in the dark, unsure when or if the platform would be back online. Some speculated about cyber attacks, while others blamed it on server overload due to increased traffic. It wasn't until several hours into the outage that Quizlay finally issued a brief statement acknowledging the issue. They assured users that they were working to resolve the problem, but gave no indication of when service might be restored. The incident raised questions about Quizlay's transparency and communication during a crisis. Many users felt left in the lurch, wanting more information and reassurance from the company they relied on. The Quizlay outage serves as a stark reminder of the vulnerabilities of online learning. While digital tools offer convenience and accessibility, they are not immune to disruptions. Technical glitches, server outages and other unforeseen issues can strike at any time. This incident highlights the need for both students and educators to be prepared for such disruptions. Relying solely on one platform or tool can be risky. Diversifying learning methods and having backup plans are crucial for ensuring continuity in education. The outage also raises questions about the digital divide. Students without reliable internet access or alternative study resources are disproportionately affected by such outages. This underscores the importance of equitable access to technology and learning resources for all students. The Quizlay blackout should serve as a wake-up call for the education sector. As we embrace digital learning, we must also address its vulnerabilities and ensure that students are equipped to navigate disruptions. With Quizlay Offline, many students were forced to find alternative ways to study. While this may seem daunting, it's a good opportunity to revisit some tried and true study methods that don't rely on technology, go analog, break out the flashcards, notebooks and highlighters. Writing down information by hand can actually improve retention. Team up. Form a study group with classmates. Quizzing each other and discussing the material can be a fun and effective way to learn. Consult the source. Don't forget about textbooks and class notes. These resources often contain valuable information that you might not find online. Take breaks. It's important to step away from your studies every now and then to avoid burnout. Go for a walk, listen to music, or do something else you enjoy. Remember, learning doesn't have to be confined to a screen. There are plenty of effective ways to study and learn offline. The Quizlet outage highlights the critical importance of reliability in educational technology. When students and educators incorporate a tool into their workflow, they are placing their trust in its availability and performance. This incident should serve as a wake-up call for edtech companies to prioritize building robust and resilient platforms. Regular maintenance, rigorous testing, and strong security protocols are essential for preventing downtime and protecting user data. Moreover, companies need to have clear communication plans in place for when outages do occur. Timely and transparent communication can go a long way in mitigating frustration and maintaining user trust. The edtech industry has a responsibility to provide tools that are not only innovative, but also dependable. Students and educators deserve platforms that they can rely on, especially during critical learning periods. The Quizlay outage undoubtedly shook the trust of many users. Students and professionals alike found themselves unable to access crucial study materials and resources, leading to widespread frustration and disappointment. The company's slow response and lack of transparency only added to the frustration. Users were left in the dark, unsure of when or if their issues would be resolved, which only heightened their anxiety and dissatisfaction. Now Quizlay faces the challenge of regaining the confidence of its user base. This is no small task, as trust once broken is difficult to rebuild. However, with the right approach, it is possible. To rebuild trust, Quizlay needs to take several steps. These steps must be strategic and well communicated to ensure users feel heard and valued. First, they need to provide a thorough explanation of what caused the outage and what measures they are taking to prevent similar incidents in the future. Transparency in this regard will help users understand the situation better. Second, they need to improve their communication with users, both during and after outages. This means timely updates, clear explanations, and a proactive approach to addressing concerns. 
Regular updates, clear explanations, and a willingness to address user concerns are crucial for rebuilding trust. Users need to feel that their issues are being taken seriously and that the company is committed to resolving them. Finally, Quizlay should consider offering some form of compensation to users affected by the outage. This gesture can go a long way in showing that the company values its users and is willing to make amends. This could be in the form of extended subscriptions or premium features. Such compensations can help mitigate the inconvenience caused and restore some goodwill. How Quizlay responds to this crisis will determine its long-term success. The company's actions in the coming days and weeks will be closely watched by its 